guys, I'm going to be filming a tutorial for you, and it's going to be um, of my hair when it's curly and how I curl it. I've had a lot of requests from you um, for a hair tutorial for this, so I am happy to do that. I've finally found some time to film it. I'm so sorry it's taken so long, but um, I'm going to show you how I curl my hair. Um, this is pretty much what my hair looks like right when it's dried. It actually dries like this. Um, if you have a good hair stylist that, and knows how to cut your hair into the shape that you want, this is pretty much... Um, how it ends up after I'm done drying it. I do use a lot of products as well and a round brush and stuff to get it kind of like this, but this is what it looks like normally. And this is how I would start to um, curl it. You're going to want like a clip or something um, to clip your hair back while you're curling. And also, don't mind my hair, I'm actually getting it done um, on Saturday, so my roots are pretty bad. <laughs> so don't mind that. Um, I should have waited till after I had my hair done, but I didn't want to make you guys wait any longer. So I'm going to show you how I do this. Um, I'm going to show you a couple products and also what I um, use to curl my hair. I use just a um, flat iron like this, and it's sort of rounded on the edges. It's not like super flat, so my hair kind of um, rolls around it. So I really like that. I'm trying to think. This is the um, Hannah Professional. Um, straightener. I mean, you can use pretty much anything. Sometimes I'll use a regular, like, one-inch um, curling iron barrel, but I don't know. I just kind of like the curl that comes with the um, flat iron. Um, it's not so truly temple looking or something like that, if that makes any sense. Um, and it's also good to curl in different directions, um, to leave some pieces kind of straight, and just, it kind of just makes your hair, it's like the messier, the better for this hairstyle. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to, um, show you how to curl my hair and I hope you like this video and um, let's get started. Okay, so you're going to want to put some stuff in your hair. Um, I love hair powder. If you follow me, you know that I really am obsessed with hair powders and texturizing powders or volumizing powders. Um, I like to use Big Sexy Hair's um, Powder Ply. That's one of them. And also, Got To Be's Powderful is another one. It kind of gives your hair just a gritty feeling. You sprinkle it at the roots and it's going to give your hair some lift. But it's also going to help with this style when it's curled, because um, I get a lot of volume over here when it's curled, so I need something to kind of help give it that lift. So you're going to dust your roots with a little bit of this. Um, so just kind of dust it, and then you just kind of lift at the roots. It's so hard for me to see <laughs> what I'm doing, but I'll try. Okay. Um, now let me show you the back of my hair too, which is probably crazy at the moment. Let me see if I can show you. Alright, so this is pretty much what my hair looks like the back of right now. I do have like a little cow like right here that I can't stand. I always try to cover up, but that's basically what the back looks like. And I'll try to show you the back um, as well while I'm curling it. Although you don't do a ton of curl in the back because the hair is so short, so most of it's in the front. Okay, so I found a bobby pin down here while I film, so hopefully that will help. Um, you're going to get, I part my hair to the side, and then I'm going to take like a, most of this top section and just kind of get it off to the side for a second so I can work kind of on this area. And I'm going to take my flat iron, and you're going to curl away from your face most of the time. So you're just going to take it, and I curl it, and then I just kind of slide down. So it kind of makes like this curl, but it's... It's not like a real tight together curl. Okay, so you're gonna take some pieces, and I'm looking over here because I have a mirror over here. And like I said, you're gonna hold it, curl it, and just kind of pull it through. So you see it's not a super tight curl, it's more like a wave. And I just pretty much do that, hold it, and then push it through. So you kind of get like a curl like that, if that makes any sense. And I'm gonna do, and I don't, I don't necessarily worry if I have a couple hairs here and there that aren't quite curled. I just kind of do this like fast and messy. I don't know. It just seems like the less care I put into it, the better it turns out. If that makes any sense. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a little bit more up here. Also, another good product to use. Um, is I like to use Short Sexy Hair's um, Play Dirty. It looks like this. It's a spray wax, so it gives your hair a lot more um, 
mobility. Like if I just sprayed it with hairspray, it would kind of hold it in that place and I wouldn't be able to kind of mess it up. With this spray wax, I can kind of shake it through the curls and run it through and it kind of pieces the curls and then I can kind of move it on and move it around, move it on, move it around the rest of the day and shape it and move it and do what I want with it. And I just kind of like pieces of hair going every which way. It's kind of crazy. But it's really simple. If you have a flat iron, you can just do it. It's really easy. If your hair is super long, it might not be very easy to do with a flat iron. But if you've got this length hair. And sometimes I will part all, like, all the way over here for this. So I pull some curl across here. I don't know if I'll do that. We'll see how I feel. Let's pull a little over here. And you can see I'm just kind of taking it and pulling it. And it turns out different every time I do it. I never get it to look the same way twice. So I'm not even sure what will happen in this video. <laughs> Especially when it's really hard to see what I'm doing right now. These front pieces, I like to take the curl a little bit closer to the root. Um, just because I kind of like the curl across my forehead like that. Sometimes I have like this all across here, but I don't know if I like that today. Don't really like how it's working. Okay, so I see I've got some, a lot of stuff going on on this side of my head. And then we're going to move on to the other side, and I usually would do the back last. Sometimes I like a little bit of height up here, so I take some of these pieces and curl them closer to the root. Just to give some height and body right here, but I'm also going to put some more of that hair powder in right here and it kind of gives, will give that the lift that I want. Sometimes I won't curl much on this side because I want it all kind of asymmetrical and I want it all, all the curl on this side, but I'll do it pretty even this time. And this is my harder side to do, it never really goes the direction that I want it to. So I play with it a lot. So, like I said, just grab pieces of hair. Don't even, like, think about it. Just grab the hair, turn this thing, and just whatever, which way, you know, go away from your face with your curl. I just like the pieciness and kind of the messiness of it. I think sometimes we try too hard, we think too hard about our hairstyle. Kind of like when I try too hard with winged eyeliner, <laughs> it never works out. So just get creative and a little messy. Sometimes I like to tuck um, a lot of this side behind my ear. So I'll have a few pieces that are up. But I kind of like how it's shaping up um, in the front here. As you can see. So I'm going to work on the back. I don't do much with the back. Like I probably can do it without even looking. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. Just grab and kind of turn in all towards the middle of my head. Like this side's gonna come in towards the middle center and this side's gonna go in towards the center. Just so you can see a little curl in the back and you don't see a ton of straight pieces. And also, since my hair is stacked, it's hard to get the bottom of it in the back curled, so. Without looking weird. Maybe there's always a couple pieces that kind of drive me nuts. Like 
that. So I'm just going to finish up the back and I'll fast forward through a lot of this so you don't have to watch every second. Okay, let me try to show you the back here. Okay, so you can see that it's not like super curly in the back. Um, just just a, enough to kind of give it, so you can tell it was curled a little. I don't do as much in the back as I do in the front with it. Okay, so it's pretty much done. Um, I mess with my hair a lot, so... I'll find pieces here and there that I don't like. But what we're gonna do, um, like I said, is take some spray wax and just kind of lift it and just light, lightly spray it a little. And then I just kind of shake it and, you, and it's gonna give it like, I don't know, I like big hair. <laughs> so if you're afraid of big hair, you might want to not want to do that. But it, I kind of like where I can piece it then gives me more control over it than just like a hairspray and this stuff smells really good too and then I'm using Big Sexy Hair's um, what is this called spray and play harder hairspray just for some hole because once I get it like this I don't I like uh, the spray wax lets me move it a little but I still need to kind of spray it in place especially this piece because it'll get in my eye and drive me nuts Sometimes I lift it and spray it and mess with it. And that's pretty much it. It's, it's honestly so simple. Um, just keep trying it. Just take your flat iron. Like I said, grab your pieces, go away. From your face and just kind of pull down. Um, grab the hair, turn it, pull down so you get kind of like these straight pieces. See how it's straight here, curled here, and then kind of straight. Um, it gives it that messy wave that I like for this um, style. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'll show you the back again real quick unless oh, look, I'm going to find more pieces. Sometimes there's a couple pieces in here that drive me nuts, and I just need a little more pieciness. So that is pretty much the whole shebang. Um, that's what it looks like. And I'll show you back in real quick. And sometimes it gets really messy and I have to fix it in the back. The back drives me nuts, but that's pretty much it. It might be a little bit shorter um, come Saturday. I might crop this bottom part up a bit, but that's pretty much how it lays. So I hope this tutorial was helpful, um, especially those who have requested that I show them how I curl my hair. Um, if it was, please do me a favor and drop me a comment below. If you're on YouTube, um, comment below and... Um, like and subscribe please. I'm so thankful for all my subscribers and um, I'm going to try to do another hair tutorial with you um, of how I dry my hair and do my hair when it's just kind of the the straight um, the way it was in the beginning. I know I did one earlier but it was such bad quality and drives me nuts like I can't just leave it like that. It was bad quality so I'll try to fix that for you and then I've got a couple more videos that I'm going to be working on so um, stay tuned for those but thanks so much for watching and um, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.